Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm gonna put the comment of the day up. If you guys wanna take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. So we're back with some of the Casanova challenge today. I took yesterday off of uploading because I just wanted to relax and play my own current household. But I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas if you celebrate. Let me know how it all went. It was a very weird year this year and I feel like it's not just me. It just did not feel like Christmas this year. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, but we are going to get into the Casanova challenge. He is actually super close to leveling up the cooking skill. So he needs to learn a skill and also improve cooking. So that will get us two of those points. Uh, so that will get us closer to the 15,000 points we need to get the fertility treatment. So like I said, in the last part, we, we really need to step up our game here because one sim per video is just, it's just not going to do it. Uh, so we have Persephone here and Valerie Vidal, and we're going to head to the library and get him out of this house and see if we have any new messages. I feel like we're kind of struggling. Word might be getting around about us. Not sure. I mean, we just started here, uh, but it's been, it's been a bit of a struggle. That is for sure. So I'm going to see if we can find anybody on the dating website because he does want to meet someone new. So we could also get that little wish as well. So hopefully we'll be able to possibly try for a baby with two sims. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that's the case. So for some reason, Kara Dreg appears and disappears from our friendship panel. And I'm not quite sure about that. She's gonna be difficult. That one is for sure. Uh, so we might still try to give her a chat, but we're going to come over here and check our messages, see if we have any, and also browse our profiles again. I'm hoping we have better luck because, um, <laughs> we have had pretty terrible luck with every sim just being like, absolutely not, uh, on the dating profile. So let's see if we have any better luck today. I sure hope we do. Okay. All right. So Carly, yes, she said yes. Rosemarie said yes. And Florida said yes. So that is quite a bit better of a turnout. So, and see now Kara's gone again. I don't understand that situation, but I think Florida was pregnant. So let's give a chat to Rosemary. Did I, did I click on browse profile? I did. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I click on browse profiles? Also, I forgot to mention in like my last video or two that I have a new, um, reshade. Maybe I did mention that, but I feel like I did it. I have a new reshade. So if it looks different, like the colors look different, it's because I found a new reshade and I absolutely love it. Uh, let's send one to Linda because we didn't have one from her. And then we're going to chat it up and see if Rosemary will want to hang out. Let's see. Is there anybody at the park? I don't know if there's going to be anybody at the park. Let's see where else we can kind of check. I'm going to also check the resort area over here and see if there's any Sims kind of doing anything over here. Nobody's probably going to, there's like, not even anybody there's not even anybody working okay so that's great oh uh, she's at work right now and she doesn't know when she's going to be done so she must do something like work at the, the park place or whatever or maybe maybe she works at one of these places but we'll try florida because now she doesn't have that outfit i'm trying to see if we have anybody who's this is this ray is that ray inside there um, La Rosa, we've got Persephone over here. Just trying to see if there's anybody's house that we could literally just end up at. So here's the drag household. But Kara is out at the moment. Uh, learn Florida's, okay, we can do that. Maybe Florida will, will come around and we can learn her, her sign. So it looks like he's chatting with her. Uh, maybe we can invite her out to the beach or something and have, have a chat there. We'll see if she agrees to it. I'm not sure if she will. It seems like it's pretty quiet around town. Like where did all the Sims go? It's like that episode of SpongeBob when everyone disappears on SpongeBob. 
uh, to get away from him for like that day. You guys know what I'm talking about? That's what it feels like. Everybody left to get away from him. So lucky for us, she agreed to meet us at the beach. And now of course we're getting a phone call, but I don't want to stop the interaction. Wait a minute. Here's a sim here, but she looks like she's pregnant by her outfit. Oh yeah. She's definitely pregnant wearing that outfit. So we're going to go to the beach. I'm backwards now. We're going to the beach over here for some reason. I chose that one. Uh, I just thought that would be kind of fun. So hopefully she does show up and she's not pregnant anymore. We haven't had any, any babies just yet. I'm still waiting for that moment, but I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, we're just gonna ignore the call because honestly, I just, I can't All right, write. so it looks like we're gonna get to know her. Is that her over there? There she is. She's all the way over there. So we're gonna get to know her and hopefully she will like us and not be super difficult, but you never I'm know. you right now, something strange is going on. I am telling you, where are all of the Sims? Where is everybody? Okay, I am now certain that they know about us. Uh, go to the police station. No, that's just not going to ever happen. Like, that is one of those things that just you can go to it all day and it's not going to work. Now we're getting another call. Who the hell is calling us now? Oh, it's Persephone. Um, I don't have time to chat with you. So no, thank you. We're trying to work on the sim right here. What are we doing here? We're listening to her. Let's see what her career is. We're going to ask her sign since he is curious about that and all of the other fun and exciting things that we pretend that we're excited about. Is that alma mater? Yes. And then ask if she's single, which I don't know if she is, but I guess we will find out in a moment. So she has a career in the business and she's ambitious. Okay, those are all good things. She seems to be okay with us at the moment. Uh, we just asked her sign. So she's an Aquarius. I guess they're not compatible in that way. Uh, let's, let's consider attractiveness. Let's see how that goes. Discuss fine cuisine. Enthuse about business. Okay. Did you get, you just got a real nice tan girl. Oh my goodness. Okay. So she's single, which is super helpful and will be less stressful, uh, worrying about, uh, worrying about that. So, okay. They're very attracted to each other. 10 out of 10. So maybe this will be quite nice. Let's enthuse about the outdoors and flatter her. And also we're going to go over here and praise her as well and see how she handles that. I don't know what kind of traits she has other than ambitious, but she's seems uh oh oh no oh no valerie don't tell don't tell him about us don't just go away don't tell anybody about us she's so upset over us oh girl so florida seems like she's very chill she's our friend now so let's make a silly face let's show her a funny video we still don't know any more about her but she seems like she's quite nice and we are looking for someone who is quite nice and you know ready to just you know get romantic for a day and and that's it so here we go he wants to kiss her for the first time oh boy oh boy are we gonna do that i'm gonna try to throw in a romantic gesture here and see how that happens to go. We're, we're talking about cuisine right now, but I'm going to throw in a little complimenting and maybe also try to flirt and see how that goes. Maybe she'll be into it. She seems chill. She seems like we might be able to make this happen without a struggle, but I could be very, very wrong. Let's see. Is she into that? All right. She's taking that. She's taking the flirty. Oh, there we go. There we go. She's flirty. So this is going to hopefully be a breeze. We're going to do a little flirtatious joke and maybe compliment her personality, but there isn't personality. Why did I say it like that? Personality? Uh, we need to find somewhere that we can woohoo. Where can we go? I mean, we could go home and just woohoo like in the shower because I feel like that's probably the closest we are for now. I want to try to woohoo in all of the locations, um, but I think that's what we're going to do. Let's have them go here together. Let's, um, we don't want to go home because then she will not come with us. So we're going to go here with our date and hopefully she will follow along because see, it's right there. We're literally right there. Who the hell? Okay. Report in. We can do that. I, I'll mess with that off camera. I just want to get them 
over to his house and to possibly try for a baby. Uh, look at him run and he's like, oh, hell yeah, girl. Oh my God, I am so dead. I am so dead. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. I need to see if we can can we ask her to stay over or is it is it too early? I guess it's too early for that. Uh let's just let's let's get romantic again. Let's give her an Amoris hug. I don't think I have space or money. No, I definitely don't have don't have space. I definitely don't have space for a hot tub. So I'm gonna have to see if a lot has one or if I can place one down. I'm gonna try to woohoo in the shower, but sometimes that comes off as like rude if you don't ask them to stay over. Uh, so let's, let's see what we can manage to make work here. Okay, she's, she's very into this. So let's, let's compliment personality. Let's do the flirtatious joke. Again, we need to get her feeling real good. Um, there we go. Do you want to sleep over? That's what I needed. I need to see that so we don't get like any negative moodlets. Ooh, he's thinking, ooh. What you thinking about what I'm thinking about? All right, so she is planning on staying the night, which is what we needed. So we're gonna go ahead and try getting in a romantic mood again. Get off of your phone, bro. We have things we need to do. Okay, we got her feeling alluring. So we're gonna confess our attraction. We're gonna do that first kiss. So he wants to kiss her and also kiss her for the first time. So those will be some more points for us getting closer to what we need. Okay, so he wants to go on a date with her, but you know, woohoo for sure. Uh, we might watch the stars just because I wanna get the points for that. Uh, but she thinks we're being extremely irresistible so we can now go in can can we now go in and try for a baby with florida and if this phone rings one more time i am going to scream let's go try for a baby in the shower she's a great kisser uh exploring their options oh my goodness okay look at that dirty ass toilet girl please just don't look at that when you go in there okay i mean you're only gonna be in there for a moment and then i'm gonna ask you to leave but just don't look at our nasty ass toilet okay here we go we're gonna listen for the sound i know we've already woohooed in here but i need to find a place to woohoo elsewhere uh let's see there it is there it is okay he wants to meet someone new we woohooed with her so you know just for the the sake of it i am gonna ask her to watch the stars and then i'm gonna ask her to just be friends and get the hell out of here because i really just want these points we're we're getting so close to getting the points that i need and i'm super excited look at her she's like hell yeah girl let's go let's go watch the stars and please so we got leave. her points for watching the stars but we're gonna ask her to just be friends and see how she handles it. I have a feeling she's not going to handle it quite as well as the other two, but let's see. Let's see. She's, she's, oh, oh, she's, oh, she's cool. Is she commitment issues too? Hell to the, yeah. Okay. The, this is fantastic. We love to see it. Okay. You can now go home. Thank you. So bye. we came over here to chat with this guy about our job. We need to inspect the mail and such, but I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, we had our very first baby. Persephone gave birth to Lak Lakshmi. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we have one baby there and it is leisure day. So I want to be able to go to the summer festival and swim in the ocean just so we can get those points for that. And maybe we will meet a sim over there. And if we don't, we're going to hopefully find one that will want to come over. So that means we can use Persephone again. So I might even, not her, uh, Persephone's right here. I might invite her over again and see if we can just knock her up real quick uh, because we're, our friendship is pretty dang good. And then try to maybe get a hold of Rosemary um, or even Carly. But I, I definitely think we're going to grab Persephone again and see if we can maybe make another one with her and see how how that goes but we're getting so oh my god we're so close to the fertility treatment i could freaking scream so hopefully let's see how many points when we get when we get here 
Um, this one is worth how many? <gasps> Wait, are we there? We're so close. Enter a hot dog eating contest. Okay, we're we're gonna make this work. He wants to meet somebody, Ashley Alto. Although I think she is 18, but I'm gonna meet her because we can use that as meeting someone new. We're not obviously going to try for a baby with her, but we are going to just use that to get some points because then I might be able to get this fertility treatment. So let's say hi to her. Okay, are we there yet? Okay, perfect! We're there. We can get the fertility treatment. I was hoping I would be able to um, get that. Oh my god, it was 10,000? <gasps> Why did I think it was 15,000? I am such an idiot. Anyways, we're purchasing it, so there's that. Uh, so, okay, that's all I really wanted to talk to you about. Let's see if we can invite Persephone over, and we can always woohoo in these little bathroom slash shower situations or go to like the uh okay perfect she's gonna come over here uh we could go to the theater and use that as a woohoo because we have woohooed in the bed we've woohooed in the shower the theater would be number three and then maybe a hot tub which i have a hot tub and also the photo booth um in the town now i placed down one of the uh one of the other lots so he's doing that which is perfect because so literally nobody is going to join him but she's here and that's kind of what matters so let's applaud her hard work because you know the oh now you want to come over now you want to take part in this you're kidding oh my god <laughs> of course of course of course uh i'm just trying to you know worry about her is she where are you going girl come on we're trying to do something here okay let's do this we're we're still good friends we're trying to butter you up and see if we can get this kind of going here so she seems to be okay oh we have is this okay that's gabrielle over there let's see if we can throw in a little romance he wants to also kiss her again so let's see if we can flirt with her and make that happen or if she's like not gonna be into it oh she's into it oh she is into it girl i knew you would be okay are you ready to pop out another one of our babies? Because it's about to happen, girl. It is about to happen. All right, we're getting flirty. We're feeling flirty. Okay, let's do a flirtatious joke and compliment her personality. I thought that was coming straight for us. I thought we were dead as, oh my God, I thought we were dead. All right, we're being alluring. Let's go ahead and dip kiss her. Give her a little dip kiss. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's putting on the romance. Ooh, okay. We're best friends, which is fantastic, but we need to confess our attraction to her yet again. Make sure we're romantic interests before we go straight into this. And let's see how she feels for that. She's feeling very irresistible. We're romantic interest. Let's go. Let's just do this. We're going straight for it. And then I'm going to try my best to have a chat with, um, who was it? Carly, maybe? I don't know. If, is Rosemarie one of these sims? No, those are two male sims. So I don't know what she does for a job, but I don't know where Gabrielle went also, or Gabrielle. Where did you go? Because you, is this you right here? I'm going to give her a, a little chit chat and maybe we can get her all buttered up after we you know, try for a baby with her. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Wait, I wanted to go. Oh, well, it's fine. We're just going to do it here. I was going to go to the theater. I forgot, but we're just going to do it here because I kind of just want to get this knocked out. Okay. We're feeling ill, but it's fine. It's totally I'm not hearing the sound yet. And I'm a little nervous. Why does this always make me real nervous? Oh my God. It didn't work. It didn't work. You guys. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I got really scared for a moment. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna just ask to, we're just gonna be your friend. Just be your friend again. You know, we, we did this before. You know how this works. Thank you. Um, goodbye. Have a nice day. I hope you understand. Um, okay, bye. So we're making our way downtown real, real damn slow uh, to get, why did we stop? There's a bunch of flowers to pick over here, which I will take advantage of and grab those flowers, but I'm really trying to, what the hell? Why? 
What? What? What is happening over here? Oh my God, who is this? Who, who is this? Oh my God, I don't even know. Anyways, we're gonna get back to this because I, I, I that was just too much. Let's see what her career is. I'm gonna do all of the things, get to know her a little bit and see how much she hates us. <laughs> I hope she doesn't. She is also single, which is extremely helpful to the situation. So we're gonna, oh God, he's about to bust his ass back there. We're just gonna try to butter her up, get to know her and do all of those things that we need to do. So hopefully we can befriend her. They are attracted to each other. They have a 10 out of 10. So that is also super helpful, but she's kind of a little more Oh no, she's a little more challenging to get to know for some reason. So I'm not sure if one of her traits is making that a thing. We don't know any of her traits, but oh, look at that puppy. You're so cute. Why is your head so large compared to your body? I mean, you're so cute. So though. we've discovered that she is childish and friendly. So we're going to do some funny funny things because since she's childish she will really like that he wants to send a love letter i'm gonna send these love letters for these points because why the hell not uh let's also maybe show internet cats video we're so close we're so close but she's just not as as easy to get to know as the other sims but we're almost her friend i think we're almost her friend uh let's where are you going <gasps> where is she going where are you going she was definitely are you going to the bathroom he needs to go as well but somebody went in before him so let's come over here and try again to butter her up okay we're friends now which is perfect uh let's see if we can form a group possibly with her all right so she agreed to the group and we're gonna see if we can get romantic okay like i know you got to go to the bathroom but i have very important things that need to be taken care of okay so she's into the romance uh compliment her personality we're gonna see if we can flirt with her this little cute dog with a big head just keeps following me around and I absolutely want this dog in my life. Uh, here comes Edward. He probably knows that I've been trying to like get with his wife, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna flirt with her and then we're gonna try to go to the, um, can we, can we do this? The theater? If, if she is like feeling it, like feeling it, feeling it, we're gonna do an amorous hug. Okay, we're being alluring. Oh yeah, he, you see those eyes? He knows, he knows what's happening. We're gonna confess our attraction. Do we have anything that pertains to her in our little ones here just to become good friends? Okay, let's see. We're gonna confess our attraction. He wants to kiss her. So let's see. We're gonna just go ahead and plop that in there and hopefully he's gonna wanna woo woohoo with her as well. Okay. We've confessed our attraction, so we're romantic interests. We're gonna throw in that first kiss while we're at it, and hopefully, okay, I was gonna say, hopefully she's gonna be into that. Okay, perfect. We're being extremely irresistible. This is very risky because he needs to use the bathroom. He's hungry, um, but we're gonna come over here before I wrap this up, and we're gonna tour the theater with our date, and we're gonna try for a baby because we need another sim to try for a baby when it's okay like it just has to happen so let's hope this goes well is she coming over here because i will scream if she leaves okay she is here so let's try this before i wrap up this part let's go in here all right okay she's following she's following okay are we all here are we all accounted for there it was! I was gonna have him try again, but it worked out. It worked out perfectly. They tried for a baby, meaning she's pregnant. So you know what we gotta do. We gotta come over here and we're gonna ask her to just be friends. So we're currently asking her to just be friends. I don't know how she's gonna take it. I feel like not good. Okay. I feel like the theater is super loud. So we are no longer friends with her. Actually, hers was worse because she's not even our friend and I don't think we can really do anything to fix it, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. So we have managed to knock up a couple of Sims in, in this part of it, and I'm hoping in the next part we'll be able to even go further. So I am going to wrap up this part right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.